All right, my name's Houston, and I'm back with another pickup. This is a DH Gate pickup. It just came in yesterday, and I ordered these in February. So it took like four or five months to get here. And they came in a plastic bag with bubble wrap. So they were real flattened down. I got some stuff, um, the toe box stuffed here because of the way the shoe was flattened down. Like it was all to one side. So I had to stuff the toe box to get the shape back. And you can see there's a huge dent right there that that's not coming off. And uh, that's the way they came packaged. Um, so I just threw the bag away with the bubble wrap and figured um, I'll just make this video to show you what you get with the, I think these were like 50 bucks. So this is the typical DH gate quality you get with $50 shoes, which is the lower end, low end quality materials, the lowest quality materials and the poor glue jobs that they do when they make these cheap shoes and you don't know what I'm talking about look at that and I don't think it's stitched either it looks stitched but when you it's just glued together the stitching is on the outsole here <clears throat> and another big flaw well let's take a look at the flaws first before we get to the rest of the shoe you can see the cut is off on these shoes these are like mids they're supposed to be a lot taller back here and this is supposed to be patent leather under here i try to make this one glossy i put some matte finisher on it to make it glossy because this is how they came like this but like i said it's supposed to be patent leather under there the cut is supposed to be a lot higher it's supposed to look like a high and this is like a mid and the material, the patent leather material is supposed to come down to here too. And you can see it doesn't. And another flaw I've seen on these is the, right here. You can see that's supposed to have a C, not an O. The outline for the Nike check is way too high. And just the, I think the font is off too. I don't know if it's supposed to be like the Chicago ones where it's kind of smudged. So inside the shoe, you can see this tag. There's a tag. It looks like a sticker. Yeah, it's a sticker. So that's probably going to fall off after a wear or two. And uh, it's got peaks on the tongue. So that's the flaws too. It didn't come with the with the leather laces, the raw leather laces. It just came with these and this bag. And I don't think they're supposed to come with this. So these don't even say shoe laces on it. They're just orange and green laces. And I think that font is way too skinny. And here's the other one. Yeah, so. The suede here is not, doesn't feel like real suede. It feels like, like a cheap felt material. It's real thin. But um, let's get into some of the pros now. Now I do like this leather that they use here on the uppers. It's real soft. But it's too thin. It's not thick like the real Louis Vuitton leather. And you can see how thin I'm talking about. the other side you can see the thin how thin it is and these do say 85 in the back Let me take this off see it's got the 85 back there but like I said it's too thin I do like the texture on it it does feel like Louis Vuitton that little bumpy texture it has but you can easily tell it's not real leather by the feel of it it's not as soft as it should be and here's another look at, you can see what I was talking about. That's supposed to be patent leather under here. Tongue's okay. It's, it's pretty soft, but again, the shape is wrong. 
That tongue is just straight back. It doesn't have no curve to it. I guess after you wear it, it might take the shape it's supposed to. The Nike check here's shape is wrong. Look at the, shouldn't it go like curve more back? And uh, what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna go ahead and buy the, the ones, the higher quality ones that come in the suitcase. And I'll do like a comparison of the two so you can see the difference in quality and uh, show them what you get when you pay the higher price for them. And I really don't know if they have any more left. They might be sold out, but I'll go ahead and check on it and see if I can get a pair of those. Because I do want to wear them, but I can't do it like this. There's too many flaws in these. I need to get a... I went ahead and ordered the laces it's supposed to have. And I'm going to fix the lettering here. And then uh, reshape this shoe to get it the way it's supposed to look. At least in the shape the shape it's supposed to be in so these will be kind of like beaters or something wear around the house every day it's got pink on the bottom the soles are actually nice they're actually pretty durable and you can't squeeze it like you normally could on a cheaper pair how they fold in half when you squeeze them yeah these are pretty durable so let's take a look at the bottom of these yeah so they got pros and cons to them let's see if this one's crooked lay it flat down and face it up and yeah, this one's a little more straight than the other one this one is it's really bad on this one you can see the shape of it I don't know, maybe if I wear them a little while, it might straighten out the shape. But we'll go ahead and, um, or more, more than likely, I'll go ahead and wear them a couple times and see how the shape comes out on them. But yeah, like I said, um, I don't think I'm going to be ordering DH Gate stuff anymore. I kind of got used to the higher quality stuff you get from the seller that I use. And if you want his information, I'll give that to you on Instagram. I can't do it here. I can't send pictures through the YouTube comments. And that's for the people that keep asking me why I don't respond to YouTube comments. I can if you ask questions, but I like to send out pictures of the stuff that I'm showing you. So that's why I do it more on Instagram. So you can go over there. It's the same username as my YouTube channel, which is Scrooge and Houston. If you need that information on the sellers that I use, because there's more than one. I think I'm gonna try another one that I came in contact with. And they do give you deals if you shop with them more and more. <coughs> you can actually do bulk orders and get your stuff maybe 20 to $30 cheaper since you're buying more and more pairs. So that's what I've been doing. I think I'm gonna leave DH Gate alone because like I said, this is the quality you get with them. And a lot of the good sellers, they seems that like they don't really care anymore since they got so many people shouting their name out for free, giving them free advertisement and stuff. So they just send you anything. They don't even quality control. At least look at the shoes. They just grab them, put them in a box and send them off. So at least with the sellers I use, they send pictures before they ship them so I can check them out and see what I like and don't like about it. And if I would have seen a picture of these, I definitely would have said no. So yeah, can't really complain about it too much because these did end up being free. I got a refund of these maybe like a month or two ago. So they just showed up. So it's basically a free shoe. So I can't really complain about it. So. And like I said, it wasn't my fault that the shoe never, the seller didn't send the shoes the first time. They waited and waited. And then they sent me a message maybe two or three months later saying that they were going to take them to the airport. 
and that was like I said two or three months ago so they finally showed up after five months four or five months so I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here and I'll catch you on the next one